Hello, welcome to the SAP TechEd 2021. My name is Sophia Maherzi. I'm a product manager at SAP Intelligence RPA. And today I will be presenting an overview of our product as well as some key features. With me joining today, my colleague Kevin Lefeur and our invited speaker, Pierre Fure from Alma Media. Hi, I'm Kevin. I'm an architect for SAP Intelligent RPA, and I will be showing you a demo of the new features of the product. Hi, I'm Virve Kiuru, Solution and Process Manager at Almi Media, and I am happy to tell you the customer experiences on the SAP Intelligent RPA. So most of you have already seen this slide. Indeed, SAP Intelligent RPA is completely aligned with the overall intelligent enterprise vision as part as an intelligent suite application integrated to SAP business technology platform. Therefore, our product is integrated with both SAP applications, including S4HANA, Business by Design, Ariba, Success Factors, and more, as well as non-SAP applications, systems, and platforms. So this enables you to automate business processes to run more intelligent and efficient businesses. So SAP provides a unified low-code, no-code offering for professional and citizen developers to accelerate time to value. These low-code, no-code tools include in-process automation and workflow. So here SAP offers SAP workflow management and SAP Intelligent RPA enabling citizen developers to easily build workflow and to automate tasks. On top of that, we will soon be launching SAP process automation to bring no-code process automation to the next level. This is currently available for co-innovation partners and will soon be available for general audience in the first quarter of 2022. This tool is closely aligned with business process intelligence to provide insights to action for process automation as well as application development with the launch of uh, SAP AppGyver and new functionalities in SAP Business Application Studio to enable the entire developer continuum to accelerate application development. And finally, in the area of digital experience, we offer SAP WorkZone, SAP Launchpad, and SAP Mobile Start to drive employee productivity and make newly built applications available to everyone in the company. So the benefits of our low-code, no-code offering is first to boost the productivity at an enterprise scale while reducing development cost. We also allow you to champion change across the business and maximize the value of existing investment through the usage of simplified SAP integrations. And finally, with our repository of pre-built content, all professional and citizen developers alike can access expertise and best practices to drive outcomes confidently and quickly. So let's start with a brief introduction. What is SAP Intelligence RPA? The purpose of our product is really to accelerate your digital transformation by reducing to a minimum the repetitive human tasks in a business process. So using Intelligent RPA, you have a powerful tool in hand to automate manual and repetitive tasks on SAP as well as non-SAP applications in various use cases, for example, financial operations, IT operations, HR processes, and much more. Indeed, we offer efficient and easy collaboration between three target groups, which are the expert developer, the citizen developer, and the business process expert, to build complex bots that really augment the human tasks. So using our easy to use tool, you can automate business processes by keeping the legacy investment to first save time and costs, reduce human errors, and help employees to focus really on the added value, which is customer interactions, decision-making, and so on. Now, some key concepts of SAP Intelligence RPA. We provide a full cloud-based solution for bot deployment and managing operations. On one hand, we often talk about attended bots as a digital assistant. So from a technical standpoint here, it is deployed on a user workstation, it is triggered by the user, and the goal is to ease manual processes, simplify them, and increase the user performance. So some area of the process can be automated, but at the end, the user remains in control. On the other hand, bots can also be scheduled. We here talk about unattended executions as a digital worker. 
So from a technical standpoint, it is deployed on a server and is, is executed through a scheduled trigger. And from a st functional standpoint, it also aims to lower the manual processes, which are often repetitive with lower added value. When well identified and designed, it could cover a whole process, for example, automating a purchase order. So you will now be able to use our supercharged Cloud Studio offering, brand new authoring experience, whether you want to capture screens from different applications to automate using the new recorder, reuse applications and collaborate with developers to enhance the screen recognition. Also include dependencies importing our modular SDKs that are dedicated to automate SAP applications, Microsoft Office applications, PDFs, as well as generated packages that can be reused as dependencies. And then design complex automations using activities that are provided in our SDKs and many other controls. And then test your scenarios before deploying them onto your environment and running them in attended or unattended mode. So now that we've explained the overview of SAP Intelligent RPA, let's deep dive into our key features released this year. We're very glad to introduce the recorder feature in our product, which enables you to record actions on SAP applications, including um, SAP GUI. Note that we also plan to integrate this feature to more technologies in future releases to come. So this new feature will enable you to automate complex workflows even more easily and quickly by recording the steps you perform across the screens of an application. Therefore, as we're recording your steps, all the screens, the elements, and their underlying metadata are automatically captured and declared, and the workflow is also built with activities and parameters set automatically. So it goes without saying that the time taken for automation building is considerably reduced, and that this will enable any business user to record the business flow and spend more time collaborating with developers to make the automation more robust. The major market differentiator in our recorder solution is that this execution is done via API and not just via the UI. Indeed, we're converting each recorded UI action into an API call in the background. And this significantly enhances the robustness and stability of the recorder. Additionally, following our low-code, no-code approach with visual programming capabilities, we constantly update our SDK packages and add new ones offering a large number of activities to automate your process on SAP applications, including SAP UI5, SAP GUI, Ariba, BAPI, and so on. And we also provide a set of pre-built activities to automate both bots on Microsoft Office applications, such as Excel, Outlook, Word, and PowerPoint. Finally, our PDF SDK is a collection of activities allowing you to extract data from PDF documents with your bots. Indeed, we are very pleased to introduce SAP Intelligent RPA and SAP Document Extraction Service integration. So the document information extraction is an SAP service that can be reused to extract data from documents, for example, invoices or purchase orders and so on, using OCR. It actually uses machine learning predictions to find the extracted header fields and line items, such as the invoice number or the amount, the billing address, and so on. Therefore, you can now easily automate document extraction using docs templates inside your Cloud Studio project. Note that as you will subscribe to Intelligent RPA, you will automatically get subscribed to docs. Now, once your application and automations are complete, you will probably want to test them in order to make sure that they are functional before deploying them onto your environments. You can debug declared application quickly using the application tester to check that the captured screens and elements are correctly identified. You can also simulate various actions on the loaded elements. We also support debugging multi-dimensional list elements and custom script testing. Secondly, you can also test automations by adding visual breakpoints on specific steps of the workflow to pause the debug session and really examine the execution via the timeline, which visually displays the steps 
that are executed during the session, as well as events such as loaded application and screens. You can also set watches on expressions and variables that are declared in the automation to evaluate them during the debugging session. Now, once the automation debug execution is done, you can navigate through the different steps of your automation displayed in the timeline and perform deep introspection from the tester data panel. This automation tester enables you to monitor the value of each activity's outputs and, out and inputs, allowing you to really analyze the execution. Next comes the user task editor. Indeed, for a couple of releases, we've reworked the user task editor to make your user experience more unified with other artifacts designs and added new UI components to design more complete user tasks that you can use inside your automations as advanced pop-ups that will appear when you're running your bot. I will now pass the mic to Kevin, who will present the demo. Thank you, Sophia. So this demo will show you how to effortlessly create a purchase order in SAP Easy Access using the new recorder feature. As a second step, we will show also how to leverage user tasks to input data. In a new project, let's create an application. I select the Easy Access. I can either record or capture the application, but let's record. This is the recording widget. I hit record again and it's capturing the first screen for me. I enter the right transaction, and then I'm prompted to capture again the screen because we detected a screen change. Once this is done, let's enter the right information to create our purchase order. Check. There you have all the steps that I have performed, and again, I am prompted to capture the screen. This screen is a bit bigger than the other, so this will take a bit more time. The screen is more complex. The capture is complete. Let's create the purchase order. I enter everything required. Test as a PO number. Enter the item, material, Quantity, category, and the plant. I check it. I am missing the location for the storage. Check it again and save. That's it. My purchase order creation is complete. Let's stop the recording and export it to the Cloud Studio. My session doesn't need to stay open. I can log off everything, and the automation will take care of the logging for me. We are saving everything. And here is the automation for the recording. All the steps I have performed are there. Here is the application containing the logon, as well as the other GUI screens with the identified elements already present, but I can also add new elements if I want to improve my automation later. Let's test. We won't need to have a session open because it's already handled. Hitting test. Here, we are downloading the project on the agent so that we can start the record the automation. We start by creating the session and then perform everything I have performed during the recording. And that's it. On the left of the screen, you can see all the steps that have been executed, as well as the events that are triggered when we recognize a new screen. Let's hide those events so that we can focus on the steps themselves. There are different ways of triggering an automation. In this demo, I will show you how we can create a user task to improve the user experience when triggering an attended bot for that. We could also use different triggers uh, using an Excel file or a PDF, for example. In this new project, I have created already a user task 
to get the user input, an item to structure the data, and an automation. The user task asks for an item and a quantity. The data type for the item contains the code and the quantity for the item, and the automation is converting what is got from the user task to create an output that can be reused afterwards. Let's go back to the project. I already have created a dependency to the other project. This dependency, as you can see, contains the automation that we will reuse in our recorded automation. Let's close the panel and add a new step in our automation that is calling the other automation from the dependency. This step is providing an item that we will reuse to override the recorded data. Let's override the item code by using the code got from the item. So let's type item.code and same for the quantity. Item.quantity. But the quantity is a number. So we have to convert it using the, the expression editor. So let's know the we have available item quantity and then convert it to a string using to string. Save the expression, save the automation, and let's test again the automation. Hit on test. Again, the project is downloaded on the agent. And we start by requiring my input. This is the user task I designed. I can enter the quantity I want. Hit on continue. And this will trigger the automation we have already seen before. Logging in and creating the purchase order step by step. And that's it. Let's look at the data that were used in the automation. The 20 there is what I have set in the user task and the item code that was hidden between the, behind the drop-down is there. As you can see, this is quite a complex automation, while you can do more complex. But it's been created using a simple recording in a few minutes. Thank you, Kevin, for this great demo. Now, Verve will present the intelligent RPA journey with Alma Media. Thank you. I will now tell you about the SAP Intelligent RPA journey in Alma Media Corporation. In 2020, Alma Media's finance department's goal was to increase automation in financial processes. Because of having an internal development team, our aim was to find a solution to create, modify and monitor the workflows without heavy contracts and projects without with external partners. As SAP is the main ERP in Alma Media Finance, it was logical to use the robotic solution SAP offers. Also, for example, Open SAP online courses gave the team a good overall picture of the solution and its capabilities. So there was no real competition with different solutions. The first workflow creation of sales orders from a Microsoft Excel file was built in the desktop studio and implemented in March 21. With the gained experience, our next step was to familiarize with the newly introduced SAP Intelligent RPA solution and create the next workflows in the Cloud Studio. First Cloud Studio workflow to automate the creation of master data implemented in August 21. 
On the right side, you can see a screenshot of part of the workflow. Internal order master data is received by email in a specified form. The body of the email is extracted and the internal order is created and added into the hierarchy in SAP. If the email body is invalid or the internal order is already existing in SAP, the bot replies to the email for the human to check the error. And about our user experiences on the Cloud Studio. When the SAP Intelligent RPA solution itself is familiar, the use of the Cloud Studio is quite, quite straightforward. Projects and the overall user experience are more visual. Low code. There are more built-in activities compared to Desktop Studio, so there is less need for custom code. Page recognition is easier and more reliable. Shared development. Access to the project is directly through the Cloud Factory. Publishing the project and version control is more flexible. Complex project structure makes viewing, making changes, and saving the workflow slow. There are challenges with the agent's connection, as it is with the desktop studio. Thank you. Thank you very much, Birf. It's really interesting to learn how Alma Media uses SAP Intelligence RPA. So don't forget to check the SAP TechEd learning offerings to help you upskill and accelerate your career. Additionally, we also offer intelligent RPA courses on OpenSAP platform, and we encourage you to follow us on SAP Intelligent RPA social media accounts and check our blog posts to stay tuned about our new product announcements. Thank you very much for your attention. This will end our TechEd session. I hope to see you soon, and I hope you had all the information you needed.
Thank mm-hmm. you.